Hey, what is up you guys? I am Savannah. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and on Poshmark. I'm gonna leave all of my info down below, but today I'm here with another haul video. <laughs> I feel like I do so many hauls. Um, I promise I will record other content, but I'm just doing a lot of sourcing right now, getting prepared for quarter four um, in the Christmas time. So I wanna make sure I have lots of good inventory. Um, so I can make the best out of the holiday season. So today I went to a 99 cent Goodwill outlet. Um, and so it's pretty much just a little back room. Well, this one's fairly, fairly large. I will insert some footage. <laughs> But it's just a room full of boxes of stuff. And on Mondays, this particular outlet has pretty much raw donations in every box. Um, so just bags of people's stuff that has not even been touched by Goodwill. Um, it's just extra. Apparently this Goodwill gets the most donations in the entire state of Colorado. That's what I've heard. Um, I definitely believe it just based on the amount of great stuff they can put out every week and still stock their store. Um, yeah, so Monday is the day to go, and it literally looks like Black Friday. People line up around the entire building. It's crazier than the Goodwill outlet by a long shot. I have invited some friends um, to go from the Goodwill outlet to the back room outlet, and they're like, never again. <laughs> um, it's really crazy. People are very rude, but you find some great stuff. So, And it's all 99 cents. The best part so you don't have to worry about weight or anything um but yeah i will just get right into it okay so the first thing is this super cute pair of athleta it's the older tag but they're like this olive green herringbone skinny pants with pockets so i'm sure these have a style name i'm gonna have to look it up um, but oh, they're so cute. I almost want to keep them, but I don't think I'd wear them enough as they deserve. But yeah, they're a size large and they were 99 cents. Probably get about like $30 for them. I don't know. I have to do research on the style though. Um, okay. I'm not even sure if this is a good brand, but honestly, I don't care because it's probably going to end up in my closet. It's just a red hanger, um, little tunic thing it's kind of sheer but I just love anything gray <laughs> and I love just like basic layering pieces like that it's pretty much all I have in my closets um, my own personal closet that is so yeah that's probably gonna be mine um, okay somebody this really nice lady I met while sh I was shopping um, she decided she didn't want this dress it's just from Zoffel so it's not a super expensive company by any means it's brand new with tags and it's just adorable like for the fall time it's my favorite color mustard yellow I'm obsessed with that color right now and um, if I can get like 15 to 20 dollars I'll be happy it's just a really cute piece I think it'll do very good on Poshmark um, yeah and sorry for my appearance if I look tired I literally just left uh, the Goodwill and came and recorded this so I was like I want to show you guys before it goes off to my lister because there's some good stuff um this is a hoodie that I owned in high school and the color was not this color it was I think it was white um but it's just a Victoria's Secret pink like tunic lounge hoodie super soft great shape I pick up all of the Victoria's Secret like loungewear sweatpants hoodies just because I personally still like them they're comfy I used to be obsessed with them in high school that's like all I wore um, and people still buy them so some of them can be actually pretty decent depending on the graphics so if you can get them for 99 cents <laughs> that's the key um, okay so I have never found this brand ever and I've heard of it I've heard it's like the replacement for LuLaRoe <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's called Agnes and Dora, and their pieces are a lot cuter than LuLaRoe, um, might I add. <clears throat> but I found a ton of it today. <laughs> like a ton. You're going to see a ton. And I found a lot of LuLaRoe, so I think it's all from the same lady. Um, but yeah, so it's just a striped dress, and I'm going to have to look up the styles for all of these. 
Um, I always put like a little sticky note with the styles before I give it to my lister just so she knows what the heck it is and it makes it easier for me too when I'm listing. Um, but yeah. Okay, so these are Fabletics. Um, and they just have a really cool like rose print. They're in excellent shape. Like I don't I used to feel like they've never been washed or worn, but these are size large. What are you? Oh, okay. Another um, Agnes and Dora. I think this is one of the only ones that is new with tags. So it's the Kahlo dress. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not. It is inside out. <laughs> um, their material feels nice. Kind of similar to Lululemon. It's just like a black dress with like this floral trim. Sorry, the arms are inside out, but it's like a short sleeve. Has like a pocket, like a fit and flare. It's cute. What size are you? Mm, size medium. I think all of this is like a medium. Um, that's the nice part about shopping at this place is if you hit like a good bin, it's usually all the same person's stuff, like size and all. So, um, yeah, this is really cute. So this is an Agnes and Dora. This one's new with tags as well. And this is the Boho Ruffle Midi skirt. This thing is stinking cute and it's so soft. This is like the good LuLaRoe material before it went to crap, you know, the soft stuff. Um, yeah, this is really cute. So hopefully that stuff does good. It doesn't look like it's going to be like super pricey, like probably around $20 per piece, but um, for 99 cents, it was worth it. Uh, LuLaRoe. I have no idea what this is. I should know by now, but there's so many dang LuLaRoe styles. I just don't want to put the wrong one in the listing because I have done that before and I did get a return for it. <laughs> so now I like meticulously look up each little detail to make sure it's the right shirt. But this is like a nice ribbed um, striped shirt. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I'm a little nasally. I've been sick. <laughs> Uh, during Q4, right? Sucks. Um, this is Agnes and Dora. This is really cute too. It's like blue on the front and then floral on the back. And then it has like open sides. Very cute. Okay, this one is ending up in my closet. This is not for sale. <laughs> this is Agnes and Dora. That's cute. I just love the color and I love the cut. I think it'll be super flattering. So yeah, that's going in the meat pile. <laughs> I think I would like order more of that shirt. I haven't even tried it on yet, but I just know I'm gonna like it. It's, it's totally like my style. Um, these are just Under Armour crop pants and these ones actually do have the little uh, style tag. So I can just look that number up and see exactly what style these are. Um, I feel like I've owned these pants in the long version and I completely am spacing on what the style is. So I'm still gonna have to look it up. Um, this is a pair of Banana Republic, brand new with tags. And they are mid-rise girlfriend jeans. White. Woo, they are blinding and they have a raw hem, raw edge. Um, they're really cute. Size 29. Does it say how much they were originally? Nope. But yeah, brand new with tags for 99 cents. Okay, so more Banana Republic, which I've just really been like stockpiling on because it's been selling for me and I never used to get it. So now I'm just like, oh my god, I want it all. Um, these are Banana Republic Martin Fit um, size 10 wool trousers. Super great shape and a good size. So I'll probably get about like $20 for those. Nothing crazy. Ooh, this is one of my favorite pieces from today. So it's a French Connection dress, but oh, it is so cute. So it has like 
It looks like graffiti, like paint splatter. Look at how cute. And this is an excellent shape. I don't think this was ever worn. It's adorable. What size is it? It is a size two. So, I love it. I don't get all French connection, but if it's, it's like a piece by piece basis type thing. And especially when stuff is 99 cents, I lower my standards a little bit, so. Um, but no, that's, that's a great piece. I would have paid up for that. Sorry, I'm trying to get this uh, not inside out. Um, another Agnes and Dora, and does it say what it is? Large T. Oh, maybe it says the styles on all the tags. That would be fantastic, because Lula Rose definitely don't do that. Um, but it is a ribbed, striped, like, big t-shirt dress. What are you? Agnes and Dora. Now I want to see if the styles are on all the tags. I'm so curious. Yeah, no, not on this one. Um, Agnes and Dora. It's like a blue geometric dress. Super soft. I got so many soft things today. This is not Agnes and Dora, it is Soma. Um, and this is a extra large, which is awesome, and just a super soft tunic-y, like, usually this is like sleepwear, I think, but I don't know. You could probably wear this out, it's cute. <laughs> it's really soft though. And Soma does very good for me, especially in the larger sizes. Okay, this is a LuLaRoe. I want to say it's like the Lindsay, but I don't know. It's like a lace cardigan. It's a blue pretty lace. And these have done well for me. Any type of LuLaRoe cardigan. Um, I don't know. It's fun. It's like a cover up. I don't know. I don't know. It's 99 cents. <laughs> um, this needs to be a toss in the wash. It's just a little fuzzy. Too fuzzy for my liking. It is a North Face. Oh yeah, you can see all the fuzz, gross. North Face Men's Fleece. I'm gonna put that over there. Okay, another LuLaRoe. I have no idea what this is. Oop. It's like a nice bluish purple tunic shirt. Okay, um this might actually be a pretty good find so this is brand new it appears I'll have to look a little bit more but um it's Ivanka Trump which I know is controversial but whatever some of her stuff sells um, and it was 99 cents okay I would never never pay you know okay whatever um it's just a nice leather bag and it came with the dust bag. It looks like it's brand new. I don't know. It was only 99 cents. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> um, also got this super cool Nike Galaxy Ringer t-shirt. Super cool like the pattern a lot. Um, okay, this is the only pair of shoes I got, but I can't find the other one. <laughs> it's in here somewhere, probably under a bunch of clothes. Um, and these have seen better days. Um, they need to be cleaned, but they are Jordan. When I looked up the number, like a $500 pair of shoes popped up. I don't think these are $500 shoes. Um, they were like the pregame XTs or something. I don't know. Uh, for 99 cents, I'll get them and I will restore them. And I'll probably record a video restoring them. Because <laughs> I love restoring shoes, especially a nice pair of Jordans. Okay, this is one of my other faves of the day. This is a Free People Olive Green it's so pretty let me show you the back that's the best part 
Look at all that like caging. Oh, it's almost like a crepe like material. I don't know. It's gorgeous. It's kind of showing up brown. I guess maybe it is brown, but kind of looks olivey in certain light. And this is a size small, but it definitely looks like it fits oversized. Yeah, I was really excited about that one. Okay, another LuLaRoe lacy cardigan. Where is the top? <laughs> okay, there we go. So yeah, it's just a nice pink lace sheer cardigan. And these feel like they're new, but they don't have tags, so I will just say they are in excellent condition and they are pre-owned. These are probably going to end up in my closet just because I was realizing the other day I don't have like any LuLaRoe leggings just to like chill in the house in and they are so soft even though they're not the best quality I know they kind of fall apart that's why I'm not going to pay full price for them but 99 cents and they have hot air balloons on them so uh, catch me inside on my couch lounging in these pants. <laughs> they're going in my pile. Okay. Let me take a sip of tea. And let's finish this haul. Okay, this is a cool, my favorite brand. Love it. It sells so quick, so consistent. And this is, I think, wool. I'm going to have to look it up. But this logo on the back. So it is men's. Yeah, just a really nice half zip pullover. Um, and I'll probably get like 40 to 50 bucks for this. Because cool is great. It's just, I love it. What are you? I think this is free people. I remember it. Yep. This tag was all like flipped inside out, but I'm like, I know what you are. You can't hide from me. <laughs> um, free people. Super open knit cardigan or cardigan what am I saying sweater it's not a cardigan look at the back it's like a lace inlay it's really pretty what size are you size small but definitely fits oversized um this is a brand new with tags gap cardigan I usually don't get gap unless it is new with tags um but it sells really well when it is new with tags I have noticed. So this is in size extra large, olive green cardigan sweater that needs to be steamed like now. <laughs> it's really wrinkly. Um, but yeah, it is brand new with tags. So that is sweet. Another new with tags. This is one of the first things I found. It's just this Under Armour um, heat gear shirt. So yeah, new with tags. It was like $29.99 new, so I'll probably get under $20 bucks for it, but it is still really nice going into the holiday season, having new with tags. Ooh, okay, this is probably my favorite find of the day. I think these might be kind of rare. I don't know. I can't really find them anywhere. Um, so when I pulled these out, I was just like searching for the logo because I'm like, I know what they are. Um... So they have these really unique little ribbed legs. They are aloe. Oh, can you see that? A-L-O. And they are the goddess leggings. So I have sold, I think like two pairs of these before. I have, I have, bleh, I have not really found them that often. But um, I love it when I do because I sell really quick. So yeah, I don't know. How good these are but they're real cute so um, and the thing that kind of sucks about these is the size tag is pulled out but that's okay I'll just measure the waist and figure it out like I did with the other pairs so, yeah super cute another new with tags and I just thought this was like good going into Christmas time it is a Golden State Warriors um, majestic Steph Curry women's shirt. I 
All right, this is a brand I am very weary to pick up because honestly it doesn't do super well for me. It's Armani Exchange. Sorry if you hear my dogs. They want to come in, but they got to wait. <laughs> um, but these are in excellent shape. Like, these are really nice. And there's a, like, slim boot jean with a super neat pocket. Yes. Another pair of jeans. Actually, um, somebody in line gave these to me. And they're in great shape. They're express men's jeans. And they're like sandblasted on the back. And the front is super sandblasted. So yeah, a little bit of distressing. Um, but yeah, they're in amazing shape. They are the slim boot cut. So I wouldn't typically get like women's express jeans, but um, I actually have never tried to sell men's express jeans, but I have sold like sweaters and things and they've done decent. Um, okay, another Agnes and Dora blue tunic top. Okay, this piece, I don't know what to think of. I don't know what it is, first of all. Okay, so I think it's vintage, but I don't know. It's like a heavy knit. It almost feels like wool sweater. I don't know if you can see this crazy embroidery going on. It's kind of weird. Okay, it says, don't kill us on the top. Don't kill us. And then it says heart. Um, but it's like super nice embroidery. Um, and then the arms, <laughs> it almost looks like Pac-Man. There's like a pill, a Pac-Man ghost looking thing and that. And then on the other arm, there's like a sword, a broken pill. I have no idea what this is, but I am like super intrigued. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I already asked Hazel Hart's vintage. Kayla, she doesn't think it's vintage. I have no clue. I, I mean, she knows better than I do, so. Um, either way, it gets cool looking, right? Somebody wants it, I think. Um, this is a North Face, which I'm going to actually ask my brother if he wants this, because he probably will. It is his size. But yeah, just a nice North Face men's hoodie. All right, two more things. Um, these are a pair of J. Crew Reed black skinny jeans. I actually just sold these new with tags, but they were like corduroy jeans, and they took an eternity to sell. Um, but they were a small size, so hopefully these do better because they're just like plain black jeans. Um, I think the Reed is the straight cut actually not skinny but whatever okay and this is the last thing I got it's just the little Adidas tote bag and I'll probably keep it because I love having these bags when I go shopping at the bins <laughs> so I can shove a lot of shoes in here yeah all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul of uh, 99 cent outlet finds. Um, I would definitely check around your Goodwills and see. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of um, stuff I found at the 99 cent backroom outlet. Uh, I would definitely go check if there's one around you. I know I said that in my last video, but I know there's several in Colorado, like at least six <laughs> um, and I'm sure on Mondays it's probably the same deal there because typically they're closed on Sundays um, to put new stuff out so yeah um, I would definitely look into that it's a great source of inventory super cheap and it's a little crazy but if you're not afraid of that it's a good time <laughs> all right I hope you guys enjoyed this video have a great week of sales and a great week in general bye